All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me His truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there through the full conserve pushing His word and our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And I want to name this lesson Cruelness. All right. The Lord is bringing cruelty, okay? And the scriptures talk about this, man, all right? That the days to come, the Lord is not bringing flowers, okay? Now, I mean, the Lord said, Yahweh by Shemel, shadow of the world, and he calls God and Jesus Christ. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the world, and he calls Jesus Christ, okay? All right? They are not bringing peace, safety, comfort to this place, America, man. And it says it in the scriptures, man, okay? All right, I'm going to get it. You know, we're going to get straight into it, man. As you see on the screen, when you look up cruelty, <laughs> all this are acts of cruelty, man. You know, torture instruments, all everything right here, cruelty. And er a lot of you Israelites, okay, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, because this is who we're speaking to, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two-thirds of you, 66.6% .6 of you, are going to have to suffer things like this, as you see on the screen, whippings, you know. Uh, torture machines, sitting in prison, electric chairs being hung, being shot in the back of the head, okay? All these things are, are going to happen unto our people, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man, okay? All right, for not hearkening unto his words, all right? All right? But cruelty, you, you think that happiness and love is coming, man. All right? Nothing but cruelty, man, okay? This is the book of um Isaiah chapter... Uh, 13 verse 9 and it reads this is, behold the day the day of Yahweh cometh okay all right so behold means to look all right pay attention to so it's telling you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans to pay attention to these words that we're speaking right now okay all right it says the day of Yahweh cometh all right the day of the heavenly father his only begotten son the return of the only begotten son Lord Yahweh shy okay all right, that's the day of the Lord, you know, the return, you know, and the process leading up to it, okay? It says, cometh cruel, both for wrath and fierce anger, all right? And you hear that word cruel, that doesn't sound like love and kisses, man. Matter of fact, we got, let's go here. All right? Actually, you know, matter of fact, let's go up a little bit, go to all, and it should have the definition of cruel, yep. Definition of cruel, as you see on the screen, <laughs> it says willingly, okay, that means you want to do it, okay, so the Lord is wanting to what? Cause pain or suffering to others, it says, or feeling no concern about, about it, okay, so the Lord is coming back, pinning pain and suffering on people, man, okay, all right, mainly two-thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, he's coming back, how cruel, what, brutal, okay, savage okay you want to be a uh, savage out here in these streets right are you going to meet the true savage when he comes back man all right yeah how about shimao shy man he's going to pitch you so-called negroes latinos and native americans and suffering so harsh it's going to seem savage man okay he says inhumane all right the things that's going to be happening to you so-called negroes latinos and native americans will not be able to be explained humanly okay all right <laughs> all right it says barbaric all right, uh, barbarous. Okay, brutish. Let's get this word barbaric real fast. See what this means. It says barbaric. It says savagely cruel, exceedingly brutal. So you see, our power is not playing with you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, your your power, your God, your Hawabashim El Shai is not playing with you no more, man. Okay. All right. All right. He was never playing with you in the first place. This is why we ended up in this captivity of America, man. Okay. All right. For going off and not hearkening to his words, not uh, following his law, statutes, commandments, man. Okay? All right? Not hearkening, but what certain other guys doing our own thing, man. Okay? All right? But now, this last go around, our power, Yahweh by Shema Shai, says, be, it says, Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh. Cruel. Okay? Savage like. Okay? Barbaric. Okay? All right? Savagely cruel, exceedingly brutal. Okay? All right, it says, it says, cruel, both with wrath 
and fierce anger. Now let's quickly get these words wrath and fierce anger. Let's see. Let's see if we get that as real fast. Um let's find. Cause this is very important that you know what these words mean. So you can see what type of spirit, all right, what type of attitude, all right, the the heavenly father that is only begotten son is coming back in, man. Okay. All right. It says wrath. All right. It's a cool both with wrath. Okay. What's this wrath? Extreme angular, chiefly used for humorous or uh or radical uh the theoretical effect, wrath. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's get a red definition. Let's get the entomology of this. Entomology, boom. Get the entomon online dictionary. Okay. It says wrath. Okay. It says angry, anger. Uh, from uh, rad. Angry, wrath. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's a word that's in the scriptures, wrath. Okay. All right. Let's get this word wrath because wrath goes back to wrath. Okay. It says angry, literally tormented, twisted. So the Lord's come back with a cruelness, right? All right. Cruelty, both for wrath, tormented. Yo, so the cruelty that he's bringing is going to be tormented, man. Okay. It's going to be twisted. <laughs> okay. You know, the Lord is going to do things to our people that you will not be able to explain. Okay. You know, in words, words won't do it any justice, man. Okay. All right. It says, uh, uh, let's see. From the dramatic, uh, wrath, wrath. It says, old, uh, Christian, uh, wraith, evil. So the Lord's bringing evil. Okay. <laughs> evil your way, man. Okay. Hey, this is beautiful, man. Okay. So the wrath of the heavenly father, the evil of Yahweh Bashima Shah is gonna come upon you, man, which evil means what? Eve meaning time and vow meaning bad. Okay. This is the type of uh energy, type of spirit, all right, type of attitude our Lord's coming back with. He's not coming back with hugs and kisses like the churches tell you, man. Okay. That's a just that's just a damn lie, man. Okay. All right, now going back to the scripture, it says it says both it says both of wrath and fierce anger. To lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay. All right. Now, quick, you know, uh, always like to say this, you know, quick English lesson. Okay. Whenever you put an ER after a, uh, a verb. Okay. All right. After the action, it becomes the person who makes that, who does the action, man. Okay. All right. So sin is what? Transgression of the law. Okay. Let's get that scripture real fast. All right. Get that scripture sin. Transgress. Sin. All right. Here it is. This is on. Um, <clears throat> this is a. Uh, first John. I believe it's first John. Lucky. Yep, yep, here it is. Yep. First John chapter three, verse four says, Whoso committeth sin, the action, okay, all right, transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, okay? Which transgression means stepping over the boundaries, okay? All right, breaking, okay, the law, all right. So sin is what? Literally a crime against the heavenly father. Okay. Are you breaking his laws? Okay. All right. So what did the Lord say he's going to do? He said that what? He says, latter part, it says, and he shall destroy. Matter of fact, it says to lay the land desolate. He's going to lay this land, America, desolate. All right. From sea to shining sea, this place will be a huge desert, man. Okay. Due to what? The cherry shooting their lazy beans on this place. And of course, the ICBM thermonuclear missiles that the Lord is going to have these countries, all right, America's allies and their enemies shoot on this place, man. Okay. You know, it says, it says verse nine, the latter part of verse nine, it says, he shall destroy the sinners. Remember, ER, now it's the person. Okay. 
So the Lord doesn't just hate the sin and not the sinner, okay? He hates the sinner, okay? All right? And the act, okay? All right? So if you're committing the act, you're the sinner. Now, we all go off. Like I said, we all go off. We all sin, okay? But this is talking about those that willfully sin in front of his face, man, all right? You know, willfully going off, you know, not wanting to hearken unto the words of the Lord, not wanting to turn back, okay? All right? So he said what? He said, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, okay? So he's going to destroy the sinners of our people because the law statute commandments was only given unto the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, okay? All right? So the Lord is going to judge them, okay, according to their actions, according to their deeds of breaking the law statute commandments, their crimes against the Heavenly Father, man, okay? All right? And he said, he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of the nation of Israel, okay? You know, so what? where does the love come in there, man? There is no love for the two-thirds on this side, man, okay? All right? They're going to be loved in the kingdom of heaven when they're in their right mind, man, okay? But only right now the elect of the nation of Israel are is going to be saved and kept um, um, from destruction. Why? Because they sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst of, okay? And we're going to get that scripture, man. All right? And we're going to end it off on that because Yahweh Shema Shai says that those, the elect, are crying unto him, all right? But two-thirds are not. And they're going to be destroyed, okay? So this is of the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, which Jerusalem was a people before a place. So so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, okay? It says, And the midst of Jerusalem set a mark. That word mark is dwab in the Hebrew, which means uh, uh, exemption from judgment, okay? All right? All right, it says, a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of, and that's the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? All right, the men, all right, of the elect are crying out daily for Yahweh Shimon Shai to destroy this place and the wicked people inside of it, man, okay? All right, it says, <clears throat> verse, uh, verse uh, 6, yeah, uh, it's like verse 5, and he said in my... And he said to the others in my hearing, go ye after through the city and smite. Well, smite means to kill, okay? It says, let, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. So it doesn't matter if you're two-thirds, you're old, you're young, all right? No matter who you are, okay? It's about to say this, okay? It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids, young women, okay? And little children, and women, so the Lord just added women twice in there, man, okay? Because what? There's more women women in our nation on the planet, period, than men. So majority of our people that's going to be dying is you damn women, man. Are you wicked-ass women, all right? And you wicked-ass men, okay? All right? No matter how old you are or what you look like, okay? All right? It says, it says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, the exemption from judgment, okay? Which that's the elect of the nation of Israel, Okay? All right, it says, and begin at my sanctuary, those that know that they're Israelites, okay, is going to start at us, okay, you know, it says, then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house, okay, all right, so the Lord, like I said, he's coming both cruel with wrath, you know, twisted cruelty, okay, and anger, okay, all right, all right, and he's going to destroy this land, America, and all the sinners thereof out of it, all right, which is the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. All right, but the elect, they are going to have that mark, and no death and destruction shall touch the elect, man. All right? You know, so with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. You know, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone, who were well and taught me this truth. And shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, keep on pushing, keep the faith, you know, keep on believing. I right, hope you are edified. Until next time, the Lord's will, they say shalom and a baba ball.